Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Know How is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. If you use Dropbox, SkyDrive, or Box, listen up. Today, you'll know how to organize your cloud. Welcome to Know How, the show where we show you how to do stuff. I as Actars here from TNT and the host of Know How. I'm here just to kind of learn uh, Leo Laporte. This is going to be about, uh, well, cloud storage. It's all about cloud storage. You know, one of the big things we constantly hear is put all of your data in the cloud. It'll be with you everywhere you go. It's this one magical place where you can have everything for yourself. But the thing is, that's not the way it is, really, right? The thing is, the cloud is actually a bunch of tiny little clouds. You have your Box cloud, and you have your Dropbox cloud, you got your SkyDrive cloud. They're all over the place. Yeah. And the thing is, you get all these promotions, you get all this storage, and you just don't know where you put your stuff. You might even have your stuff where you built the cloud that we built a few episodes ago. It was a roll your own cloud, right? Yeah, you could do that, too. And That was like our first episode. That was 39 weeks ago, back wow. when I had uh, gray hair. Right, so, so this is actually even a problem if you don't use the cloud. Files all over the place. How do you find the files you want? Yeah, so what I, what I did is I looked out for a couple of services. I tested them out extensively to see what's actually the best solutions for organizing all your cloud stuff. And the first thing I took a look at was something called PrimaDesk. Now, this, this service, uh, we can go to my laptop. You can show how this works. They promise that they can wrangle all of your stuff in one location. You sign up for a free account. They do have pay services, if you pay money, you can even back up some of your stuff to Prima Desk's cloud storage. Oh, so they have their own cloud. As well, so you can back up your cloud to your cloud if you like putting cloud <laughs> in your cloud. So, I, I went into my actual account here and you can see that they support a ton of services, 23 Photos, uh, AOL Mail, Box, wow. Evernote, Dropbox, Facebook. Pogo so, Plug, the one you use. Pogo Plug, which I love to use, SkyDrive, Yahoo Mail. They do pretty much everything you could think of in one location. So what you do is when you set this up, you can go to your Manage Your Accounts section and you can see the status of indexing. What happens is this Prima Desk also has a big search function. So if you're like, where's my stuff? You can hit the little search box up here and you can search for things. There's also your dashboard when you enter into this. The dashboard, that front screen you get, it tells you about the recent activity that's been going on. Uh, it can wrangle up a couple of email addresses. As you can see, the recent content on the right pane there is my Yahoo account which is full of spam, including a free $100 Subway gift card because I never use that account anymore. So this is interesting. This is kind of a search solution that indexes every place you've stored stuff and lets you do one search that finds it and all. It's kind of like a Google for your cloud. Exactly. And the thing is, you do have to give your credentials over. This site does, they, they are screaming about protection. They're saying, listen, we're trying to do everything secure. I'm sure if you're, if you're Steve Gibson, I'm not Steve Gibson. We both have mustaches, but I'm not Steve Gibson. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's some kind of issue, but I'm I'm pretty sure this is safe and secure. At least that's what these folks are trying to do. I got to say, if you're storing it in the cloud, you should be encrypting it anyway because uh, th there's no guarantee it's safe on its way there or even on those cloud services. Very few of them are trust no one. So I only put stuff I don't mind if people see it if it's on the cloud, you know, it's stuff that's not, you know, my social security number, that kind of thing. That, that's always intelligent. Yeah, and if you do, you should be encrypting it. Prima Desk also has this cool file explorer manager kind of look. So if you want, if you don't want to bother with searching and you want to go to that old school style, this is my box account. I only have a couple of files in there. If I go to my Dropbox, you can see I have a lot more things in there. It's a lot like the explorer that you're used to in Windows or Mac OS X. So it's almost like you've taken all of your little services and you've put it into a file explorer that's something familiar to you. And don't forget, because this is a web service, you can access this anywhere. I like that. Prima Desk. And it, it's not free, but there they have a, a free version. There's a free version of it. You're going to want to do the premium probably, right? The premium one is the one you need only if you want to bother with backing up your services. Oh, okay. So if you want to just search and index, it works pretty well. For free? For free. I tried it with Skype, my little, little test where I was looking for a file with a name Skype, and I was able to find it. Now, right here, you can see the little Skype results. One of the issues I did have with this service is that Dropbox authentication 
seems to have failed. The indexing for me cannot work. However, that doesn't mean that the Explorer itself fails. So that's Prima Desk. There's also this email component, which is really kind of cool. If you want to take all your email accounts from Yahoo, Gmail, uh, multiple Gmail accounts as well, you can actually use this as a front end for all your emails. You can even compose right from this manager. So pretty much if you're using Prima Desk, anytime you log into this thing, it's like all of your services in one oh, location. I want to set this up. This is great. This is free. I was really shocked. That I need this. The compose function worked. I was like, yeah. oh, that's not going to work. How's that going to work? And right. it does work. It does insert a little powered by Prima Desk uh, signature at the bottom. Oh, that's too bad. But you can remove it. And here you can see I send a little, an just email to myself yeah. from my Gmail. And you can just cut that out. Yeah, you oh, look okay. at this, do it there. That's my Prima Desk fun install. That one I really enjoyed. It's very powerful. Like I said, though, there were some issues with Dropboxing, a uh, Dropbox indexing. So just took a while, or it never did index. As far as I could tell, I set this up a couple of days ago. It is not it's indexing, still indexing Dropbox. If it's if it's indexing, it still <laughs> says zero. It says things are okay. Authentication failure. Uh, I don't know why it says right. both. It's okay and there's a failure. Okay. Uh, but other services like Box and uh, my own Pogo plug indexing does take a while, but they do work. It would make sense to take a while because it's not only it's got to kind of get all that stuff from the cloud, index it. And I mean, that, I can see that take longer than your hard drive, for instance. You think that? But then there's Cloud Magic. Now, Cloud Magic is another oh, similar service. Now, okay. why I want to spotlight this separately is because it does a lot of things a little differently. Cloud Magic is also free. Now, you set this up, and you've got all of these different services. You've got your Google accounts, your Microsoft accounts, Dropbox, Facebook. It doesn't seem to be as, as uh, expansive. As or is it inclusive? But if it does everything service? that you use, for instance, I really use Gmail, Google Drive, Evernote, Dropbox. That'd probably be enough for me, and mm -hmm. it's all there. Even Google Talk, which is kind of interesting, and Outlook.com. Uh, one of the good. crazy Skydrive. things is that it indexed things really fast. It was like within a couple of seconds, I was able to start searching for things. No Pogo plug there, though. No Pogo plug that's on a this one. Yeah. So it's a bit of it, that's one of the downsides. When you set this up with your Gmail account or your Google account, you'll see all the permissions it's trying to get into. Wow! Look at that. Every time you do this with any of the services, Box, or you're doing this with Dropbox, or with Google, you can get freaked out by this because it's saying Cloud Magic is requesting access to your Google account for the products listed below. We're talking about your email, your Gmail, your Google contacts, docs, calendars, pretty much everything it wants access to because, in theory, you do trust these guys and you want to be able to uh, search for all the stuff. So you've got to grant it access. And then you can have all your accounts. Here's your manage accounts function. Google Contacts and their SkyDrive box. All of this stuff is all in this one location. Still indexing Dropbox, I noticed. Yeah. Well, yeah. here. You don't have second factor turned on on Dropbox. Could it be that? I don't believe I have. Uh, yeah, they just I added that. I should have it on it, but I do not yeah, have it on they just, just yet. That. Uh, for these testing purposes, I usually turn off some of these right. things to see how. You it know, works. Google has a two step authentication, but in a situation like that, you'd give it your app specific password and it would probably work just fine. Now, the dashboard for Prima Desk, I think this is one of the prettiest things I've seen when it comes to I like the picture. seeing a lot of things. Right now, because this is live, I had to redact a lot of information. But normally, like on the recently contacted <laughs> information here, you'd have email addresses, phone numbers on, on your emails. You can have them all on this pane on the top right. On the right side, you have this great pane. And what it has is it has a preview of your email right there. It's very powerful, and it's a really beautiful visual way of seeing things. But one of the downsides is when you are when you try to find something, you can. Here's an example of trying to find something, by the way. The search function is great. Look for Skype. Again, I have a Skype short video now, I made years ago. Can I there. narrow it down, or is it going to find it across all of those sources? Uh, you can narrow it down. If I type security now, I'm going to find it in 15 different places, right? It'll check for messages, people, files, and docs. You're, Got it. You're able to switch up. So if I wanted to just find Steve Gibson's contact information, right. instead of getting hundreds of messages, I can say episodes, people. Exactly. Got it. It's a really cool function. And when you do click, uh, Skype's this 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 example is a video on Box. When you do click it, it does bounce you out of the service. You don't have like a built-in preview function. Okay. It doesn't go that far. Now, is this Prima Desk or is this the other one? This is Cloud Magic. Cloud Magic. Okay. Now here is a good example of why Cloud Magic is great. But this is how they make money. Oh, you've used up all your previews for this month. On the right rail there, that right side with that great space, I love to see my previews for everything. Yeah. You get 50 of those for free per month. And now. Obviously, I, in the course of a day or two, just kept testing it like crazy to get to this part. You'd to go see what through happens. 50 pretty quick, though, I think, even if you weren't. Even if you're going back and forth, that's a preview. That's a preview. So if you've already yeah. previewed it and see it again, that's still a preview. So it does yeah. count that as, as a single So it's one. five bucks a month, really. 
five bucks a month, the search function still works. Yeah. You just can't see it on the right can't side. Preview it. You still have all your recent contact information, <laughs> but they have a ton of applications for Windows Phone, Windows 8, Android, iOS. They have all of this stuff already available. And this again is the screen you get when you're out of previews. There you go. There's the you've used up. Pay five bucks a month. It's not that expensive, but it's really great as far as I have seen so far. Uh, like I said, there's tons of different applications out there. There's even a Google Chrome extension. So if you always want to be able to search your stuff, oh, that's nice. on the site. I like that. that. Yeah. Great previews of things. Uh, it works with Gmail, Google Drive, all that stuff. All right there in cloud magic, but it does cost you. This must be a new category. I've never heard about this. I guess as we all are going to the cloud, this is a good opportunity for these guys. It's weird. I found this out because somebody had just, like a, a throwaway comment, maybe in the chat room a while ago, someone mentioned cloud magic. And I'm like, what's cloud magic? Because I, anytime I see a deal for you know, an extra couple of gigabytes on Dropbox or SkyDrive or any of those things, I go and take it even though I might never use the service. Box was one of those ones I did. I got a 50 gigabyte box. I know, I know. Like, what I are you going to do with it? <laughs> but that's, that's back in the bad old days, back when Box didn't have an, a desktop application. Right. I want to hit one more thing before we wrap up, is if you're freaked out by the concept of taking your data, not your data, but your credentials, and giving them to a third party, like PrimaDesk or uh, Cloud Magic. Yeah, you're giving them the keys to the kingdom, I ask. Yeah, it's, that, that is, Everything's there. It's, they, they do claim security, and you don't know what's going to happen. A lot of people, uh, you have the Steve Gibson trust no one concept. Right. But I don't want to get the, hey, we somebody broke into our office, stole all our hard drives. You better reset your password email from these guys. Yeah, don't forget that these services, at least the popular ones, SkyDrive, Box.com, uh, Dropbox. Uh, what else do I have running? I have all of them running right now. They all have desktop client software at this right. point. So if you want, you just want to talk to your first party, you can set it all up on your desktop. And the thing I, th I think that people forget, in Windows and in OS 10 and lots of versions of Linux, there is a very powerful search function built into your machine. So because these things are being seen as files, you can do a quick like spotlight search or a window search and find everything, assuming you have this stuff running all but the see, time. But see, I use selective syncing on Dropbox, for instance. Not all my folders are synced. Some are just in the cloud. So it wouldn't work for me. Wouldn't work I'd in that have case. to I'd have to search the cloud as well as uh, search the desktop. That's just, you're a pro user. That's I think I'm well, a and that, laser on that. One simple solution would be to only use one service, sync it all to your desktop, and use the desktop apps, and then you wouldn't have to do this. But that's not how people work these days. I've got ShareFile, I've got SkyDrive, I've got Box.net. As you said, I've got Dropbox, I've got all of them. I've got over 125 gigabytes of free storage. Right. And that's the thing. I want to be able to put this together. I think it was, I don't remember who I was talking to, but they had this idea of Cloud Raid. Now, if there they, is such a thing. That, there is such a thing. How do you do that? There's a service. In fact, there are at least, there's at least one. I think there's more than one service that will aggregate data from various cloud services into one big pile as if it's one... Like you said, RAID, one single drive, and I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Well, if you know what that name is, send <laughs> so us... Jarrah might know, because yes. we've talked about it on Windows Weekly and other places. Um, you can also send us an email. You know, yeah, you we, can do that. we do take your feedback. I've, I've been checking out emails. I'm trying to write back. I'm a little bit backlogged. But you can send us an email, knowhow at twit.tv. Show ideas. If you know what the name of this, uh, I guess, just a bunch of clouds is what I would call it. Yeah. That's what it's kind of like. It's something like that is actually the name, just a bunch of clouds. That's what it seems like, like not JBOD, but. But this is, this is a great medium for us to contact you guys back and forth. But we also have our Google Plus community, which I love. Over 2,000 of you folks it's are there. It's amazing. If you want to go and join and see what's going on there, there, you can do a search on Google Plus. You can search for Twit Know How, or you can use the short URL of gplus.to slash twitkh. I know it's it's not the best uh, URL, but it's available for you guys. And if you just say, you know what, I as I'm not listening to any of this. There's no way I'm remembering this. How can what's the? Can you tell me something shorter so I can find out about the links, about the stuff you talked about, how I can do this myself, find the Google Plus community? I got you covered. Go to twit.tv/kh. That's where all our show notes live. We've got tons of instructions for all the things we did. Last week we did this amazing thing about expanding our wireless network. Uh, client bridges. That was cool. I have the was, winery there. That was really great. I wrote probably over, I don't know, 5,000 words in that post. It's a monstrously long, long instruction set. But the thing is, you're going to know how to do that because Russell was here and he explained it. We even had a slideshow showing off how the settings are set up. So if you've ever wondered, hey, where can I go? Twit.tv slash kh. All the show notes, all the instructions, all the links. And 
You can download this and watch this whenever, watch it in HD. You can download the audio version. You just want to listen to our gloriously golden voices like Leo's voice. And mine's more like a bronzy, but... <laughs> You've been using bronzer, haven't you? I have. Yes. All over. Hey, very cool. Well, now that you know how to find your stuff on the cloud, Go do it. get out there and do it. Thanks for joining us on Know How.